What's going on guys, it's Garrett, and today I'm going to show you guys a really easy and a very good tip on Photoshop on how to create pretty much a perfect square grid. And what I use this for is basically I use this for logo designing and it really helps space out everything perfectly. It literally creates a perfect square, perfect squares inside of it and you guys can choose how big you want it, etc. So well, I already made one here, but what I want to do is start a new document. Let's open one, like 1920 by 1080 and then just make a black background. So uh, the first thing you want to do is just grab a square and just make a decently sized square however big you want the grid to be and just put it in the middle. So if you guys have Photoshop CC it will like click in the middle if not then you guys will just have to center it yourself. But uh, what else you want to do after that is go to window and you guys want to make sure that your rulers are on and also that the, that the, the lines actually show up. How else you can do that if you hit control R the rulers will drop down or they'll go away make sure they're right here control h will show them and let's get right into it so what i do is just hit control t on this rectangle and you guys are going to see these uh these anchor points as i want to call them show up in each side of the square what you want to do is just drop your rulers onto each anchor point and you guys know that you guys click the anchor points when it like snaps into place so you basically just want to create these anchor points like this. So you pretty much have a 4x4 four four square. Now you guys can either leave it like this or you guys can start creating more. What I do is I grab the bottom and I bring it up into the middle until it just clicks in the middle like that or it hits the ruler line. I drag my ruler down there. I hold shift and I just drag it back downwards, put the ruler there, and then you guys have another perfect square. The next thing you want to do is just grab the top or bottom again and bring it down to the next line that you just added and just take your ruler, put it there, Go up one, put it there, go up another one. And you guys can see it's just an endless process of me making equal lines. So now that you have this, if you guys want to add, let's just say the middle lines, what you can do as an easier way, you guys can pretty much just bring this over here and then at the right side in the middle, put the ruler there, go to this side, do the same thing and then drag it to this side, put your ruler in the middle, hold shift, drag this side, put the ruler into the middle again, and you guys can see I am just keep putting the rulers in the middle, creating these perfect squares, and you guys can literally do this for however long you want, There's really, you can really do it an endless amount of times, so you can put another line right there, and what this does for logo designers and also if you guys want to create perfect uh, shapes, it pretty much spaces out everything so evenly that there's no room for messing up. Like if you zoom in, you guys can see exactly where the line should meet. You guys can do this. And this is also a really helpful tip if you drew a logo onto, let's just say, a grid paper. Just because it creates the whole entire canvas over again for you. And it's just an easy way to pretty much evaluate and redraw everything. So I'm going to finish up this and create my, this is probably like a 32 by 32 or like something like that. Or it might be 24, I'm not too sure. But uh, pretty much just make this perfect square. And this is so easy to do. I don't understand why people don't do it a lot and they do the logos. And uh, a lot of people, when they're making their logos, they just kind of wing it and they kind of just make the shapes as big as they think it is. You really want to space everything out. And this actually really helps you when you want to do like square logos, shield logos, circular logos, and such. So now that you guys have, let's just say, like this perfect square, let's just say you wanted to add a circle in the middle, all you have to do is make a new layer. And then let's hold the top right corner and go down to the bottom. And you guys can see your perfect square, your perfect circle is made. You guys can literally do anything. You can rasterize this. And let's just say you want to cut the middle out. Just go up until it hits the middle. Cut it out. You guys can literally just take this up here. Cut this out. You can hit Control J. Edit, transform, and flip 180 degrees. And you guys can just put this in the bottom right corner. And you guys have a POC logo. So uh, if you guys don't know what POC is, it's a skiing company or a snow company, however you want to put it. So let's just say you guys made something like this and you guys want to take off the rulers are getting a little annoying when you're looking at them. If you hit Control H, it just brings all of it away. Control H brings it back, H goes away. So uh, if you guys do like a series like this, this is logo tip number one, definitely let me know in the comments below. I really want to help you guys make the best content possible. And uh, this is definitely the biggest tip I have so far. And I just made one. I'm making a logo right now for my, uh, brother's, in my brother's university uh, art gallery. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. Leave a comment below if you did and leave a thumbs up. Also, if you guys want to join into the top five designers of the week, there will be a link in the description to find that YouTube video. All you have to do is submit your uh, 
submit your best design submit your twitter handle and also what kind of design you are so hope to see you guys in the next video thank you guys so much for 5700 subscribers i woke up this morning and i already broke it by 20 and it's just amazing how many subscribers you guys can give me so uh thank you guys so much 6,000 subscribers expect something big and i hope to see you guys there peace out